Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I have a gorgeous pink set of nails to show you all. So first off, I'm going in with a, a more from CJP. It is a stunning pink colour. And I'm just going to build a short square nail. The nails have already been prepped and they have been primed. And so I'm just going ahead with my application. So I had this image in my head and my client was really free. She just said, do what you want, as half of my clients do. Um, and so I really wanted to try this, this idea, what I had in my head. So I'm going in, I'm using my Alpha size 8 oval brush. And I'm just building the nail. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of dental floss. And I'm just going to imprint like a couple of random lines on the nail. So there was no kind of specific order or way. I just, you know, this is just what I had in mind. So this is what we went with. So I'm just pushing that into the acrylic. You don't want to do this while it's too wet, but you don't want to leave it till it's too dry that it doesn't fully imprint. And then I'm just going to take silver bowels from CJP and then I'm just going to infill them lines with this silver glitter. And then I'm going to move on to the next nail. So on this finger, I am doing a French. So I'm just going to start and I'm going to build a really thin, clear tip. After watching this video back, um, my clear tip was not as thin as I'd liked it to be so I didn't show in the filing process but when I did come to file I did actually just file the underneath of the nail and take off some of that bulk from the underneath so I didn't ruin my design on top so there's a little tip that you can do if you find your glitter nails getting too thick then just file off from underneath the nail so I'm going in with a more again and I'm just going to start off by making a, a smile line. It doesn't have to be completely perfect because I am just going to cover that in glitter anyway. Um, I don't really, I very rarely file my smile lines crisp anymore. I just kind of really try and do that work with my brush. So I just sweep, sweep them sides with the like belly of the brush on a slant, if that makes sense. And at the cuticle area, I always, as always, just place my bead at the cuticle area. I allow that acrylic to flow and then I just push it and drag it down one side. And then I'll do the same and then just pat it over the entire surface of where I'm applying that acrylic to make it really nice and even. And that way it just saves all that filing at the end. So again, I'm going to take the dental floss and I'm just going to do like a crisscross. Um, in the area of where the small line is. And then I'm just going to go in and place silver bowels at the tip and in the gaps and then adding a little bit of my own mix as well. So this nail is just going to be one full application of a more. So I will always apply my second coat of primer just before I'm about to apply my acrylic. I just find this gives me a better adhesion to the nail plate. And then I'm just gonna place my first bead at the, just halfway on the nail and create my free edge, keeping that shape as perfect as I can with my brush and just patting it all so it's really super even. So I'm going from one side to the other side, just pat, pat, pat. 
all the way across the nail to make a really nice even application. Again, cuticle application, place your bead at the cuticle area, place your client's hand downward so that gravity naturally lets that acrylic flow away from the cuticle area and then just pat it into place and make sure that it is an even distribution of acrylic. So on the index finger we're just going to do a really thin layer of clear acrylic. I'm going to create my free edge with this and the shape and I'm also going to put this on the entire surface of that nail because we're going to apply a full glitter nail. I like to protect the natural nails from the glitter so I'll always apply that thin clear underneath where I'm applying the glitter. <laughs> So on this nail, as you can see, yeah, I'm creating my clear base. Then I'll go in with silver bars and do like a really thin wash of that over the nail. And then I'm just going to go in with my own silver mix that I made myself and just apply that all over that surface of the nail. So now I'm just going to file all of that excess glitter off of that nail, as you can see, so I can reveal them lovely little lines in there. I just really wanted it to look very delicate and I was really, really pleased with how they turned out. And I just repeat this process on all the nails. If I find I need to encapsulate it, then I will do after, but I didn't actually need to on this. The, this, the glitter that I used did not go like a white when you file into it. So the shape and structure was already there. There was no need for me to encapsulate that in clear. So I went ahead and filed shapes and buffed all of the nails and now I'm just going to go in with my CJP tack free top coat and I'm just going to apply a really thin layer of this onto all of the nails and then you can really see them little designs pop. Think of the possibilities you could do with that and the different colours, it just, it's, I can get all these ideas in my head now to how, how many different ways you could make lovely little designs just it's it's amazing what you think of isn't it so yeah this was the thumb design so I'm sorry I didn't record that but this is what we did on the thumb and then I'm gonna get my client to place her hands in my Melody Susie lamp and I'll cure that for 60 seconds and then when she pulls her hand out I will just allow that top coat to cool before I go in with my cuticle oil um, you can see her cuticles are quite dry the job that she does she works in a supermarket and she's actually a manager so she's constantly lifting things and then anyway that is the finished design i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you're not already i love you all and i'll see you all again soon bye